Of all the Heaven Hill releases, this is one of them. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing Heaven Hill's release of Bernheim Bearproof Weeded Whiskey. <laughs> this is like our second, third time trying to do this. Uh, All right. So this is a brand new, uh, brand new release. So if you've ever had Bernheim, it's like seven years old. I forget the proof because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't own a bottle, nor have I ever really wanted to. I've had a bottle, but... I think I gave it away. Mistakes were made. Yeah, mistakes were made. So, this bottle, originally, when they started doing the barrel proof, you could only get it at the bottle of your own. Yeah, the bottle of your or, own. No, you do, bo or you do bourbon. I'm sorry, at Heaven Hill. The bottle of your own at, is Victor's, I think. It's, but you're doing the same thing. You are. You are doing the same thing, but I just you know, want to keep it on. From a verbiage right standpoint, it is you do bourbon. Sure. Experience. Today's episode of Bourbon Kingdom is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It's delicious cereal. It is deliciousness. Uh, and the really cool thing now is they have so many flavors available that you get to BYOB. You get to build your own bundle uh, however you want it to be. There is blueberry, cinnamon. Guys, this blueberry is incredible. Honestly. Just, it, it really honestly, is. You, you know, the cocoa was my favorite the last time we blueberry. had this, but the blueberry kind of blows it out of the water. Yeah. The blueberry is uh, the best uh, one of all these. And I'm a, I'm pretty partial to, to cinnamon roll and all that stuff. But the, Oh, yeah, the new cinnamon roll is so freaking good. But the blueberry good. is still, still way better. Uh, and so you can build your own bundle of whatever flavors you want. Peanut butter, uh, honey nut. Any of the ones that are that are available, uh, like I said, I would just do four. I would build my own bundle as just four, uh, <laughs> four of these blueberries because it would be awesome. I don't I mean, know if that's considered a bundle or not, but it tastes literally like a blueberry. Bundle. It really, it's it's awesome. It's so good. So here's the cool thing with uh, with Magic Spoon cereal is it's got zero grams of sugar, thirteen to fourteen grams of protein, has four to five net grams of carbs in each and every serving and the cool part about it is it's only 140 calories per serving gluten-free keto friendly grain free soy free all these things that people really really care about and uh it's available in this cereal and you don't feel guilty eating it at night yeah a thousand percent also they have these new cereal bars this is a s'mores one I, I mean, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, it, it if really is. If you are a fan of cereal bars, you should definitely take advantage and get some of these. Uh, so here's the deal: oh, click the link red. below, uh, use the hashtag Bourbon Kingdom or the promo code Bourbon Kingdom, and uh, you can get five dollars off your first order. Make sure you click that link and uh, take advantage of building your own bundle today. Are you gonna talk? Because I'm my mouth's full. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Yes, which honestly, that tasting is one of the best experiences. It's a cool experience on the entire Kentucky yeah. Bourbon Trail. Just took my dad not too long ago. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, uh, I still have not went and got a slug sock. Need to go do it. Uh, I did need a slug top. <laughs> <laughs> so, going back to this though, I will say, whenever they said they were going to do this, my first thought was, every time I go to that tasting, this is by far the last. And I've had one of them before that I thought, like the very first time they released. I thought it was god awful. So I, I, this is one of them I do not have high hopes for. So anything that's like remotely like okay, I think has met that standard for me. Yeah. And this is coming from somebody who's started like more wheat. Well, you and, and you know what's interesting with this is when you, be, obviously our experience is going to be from the, um, you do bourbon experience because this is that was where it was only available yeah. at. So, like, it was just always the like going through it. I've done it three or four times, I think. Oh, God, yeah, I've done it enough. And you go through, and it is, it, it's just the one that you're gonna probably choose last. Although you were talking off off camera when we when you said you can get an Elijah Craig, you can get a a, a Larsenic, which are the other two, and then there's this the special one that's like they they normally try to stock. have something special yeah. that is barrel proof. Yeah. So all of them are, are, are barrel proof and you can get those 
in theory, out because they're available. Like mm -hmm. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is available. Yeah. Now, maybe not that exact one, but it's available. Yeah. Larceny Barrel Proof. Maybe not the exact one that's at the You Do Bourbon Experience, but it's available. This mm -hmm. was the only one that was unavailable anywhere besides the specialty one that was the higher tier. Yes. Bourbon. But if you go through there, there has been times where they don't have a specialty one because they're out. Yeah. Or in between, you can only get stuff, yeah. one per like release of it. Yeah. So like you once you got that specialty release one, you couldn't get any more. So the argument would be, if you wanted one of these and you were trying to collect and stuff like that, that's maybe why. Yeah. I just I don't know. It just never been one that, and maybe it'll be better because it's barrel proof, and it was designed to be in mass production. I can already say with confidence <clears throat> that I had to cough, but. I already like the nose a lot better than some of the ones that we've had there at the at the uh, you do yeah. bourbon. Yeah. First thing I get it takes me right to like if you go to like a baseball game and you get a soft pretzel. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because in the video right now you can probably hear my kids that are having to go to bed and they're screaming. <laughs> Hmm. So, incredibly bready. Yeah, I Just think... Just all around incredibly bready oak pretzel bread. That's what I was going to say. Like, it very bread heavy. There's a little bit of honey. Yeah. Just a little bit. Like, it's like almost a, like uh, I love honey wheat bread and stuff like that and it almost kind of has that yeah that to it there's like a little bit of like a buttery note like yeah just not a whole lot it's not a whole lot that bread note just dominates over it it now. does all right For 118, which by the way we didn't talk anything about the bottle. Yeah. It's 118.8. Age between seven and nine years. The mash bill for it is 51% wheat, 37% corn, and 12% malted barley. Price is like 65 bucks, even though I haven't found any of those for 65 around here. They're more like 75, 80. Yeah. Man, that has a lot more proof on that for 118. Like it's. It is right here and just sitting. Yeah, it, it definitely <clears throat> hits you right at the back of the palate and just kind of stays with you. It's got the finish on it's definitely long. Yeah. Uh, longer than I was going to anticipate. It's sweet. Um, and I think it's. Yeah, it is a lot more sweet than yeah. I thought. It's actually not like I, I actually kind of enjoy it because th that honey note that you were yeah. talking about earlier is there. Yeah. And there's also like, it's just. You get a little bit more of that bread note, but then there's like some maple syrup and some toffee with that. Yeah, but it's got a spice kick to it. I think yeah, that's where, a of spice. Like just yeah, that, I think that's what kind of hits you back here a little bit is just that spice on it. All in all, I was ready to crap on this. Uh, yeah, I, I won't lie. I was. I was really ready to just be like. Why this isn't you, bad. Why did you? Why did you yeah. release this? Uh, yeah. But I'm not going to say that. I think this is better than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. Better than what's usually at the bottle you're uh, the oh, yeah. you do Size bourbon percent, experience, which is surprising because the Elijah Craig barrel proofs I've had from there, most of the time the Elijah Craig barrel proofs are the best thing that's there. Yeah, and then those larcenies have been pretty good too. Yep. Yeah. Never ever had a bad larceny there, and some of those like I like. The very first one I remember, like on the nose on the palate, I'm like this might be the best large sample. Right? There's a there's a bit of cinnamon on the end of this that I kind of I kind of dig, like on the on the finish, just kind of like a red hot candy, not, not like a traditional cinnamon. It's like a red hot candy, like a. I, I know we talk about them all the time, but Shemp's is like the red hot candies that I always go to. Like it's kind of got that feel right at the end of it. It also gets a little fruity on the back side of the palate once you've had a couple sips yeah. of it. Yeah. This is actually really nice. I'm I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Because I I, I mean I agree. I thought this was gonna be 
I don't want to say disappointing because I didn't have high expectations for it. Yeah. But I just didn't, I, I didn't think it was going to be good. And to my, to my surprise, I think it's good. 65 bucks, 75 bucks. Yeah. I, I think for a good barrel proof, 118 proof, barrel proof. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this could taste good in a, in a lot of ways. Like I could, I would put this in a, <laughs> I would put this in old fashioned in a minute just because it's got that spice on it a oh, little bit well but even just on its own it just oh no, no no on its own yeah. yeah it's it's totally good like that's why i was saying you could you can drink this any way you wanted to and you i don't think you'll be disappointed with it this to me like if you can find around 65 i think it's worth buying to try if yeah. you like weed if you're a big fan of heaven hill um yeah because you're gonna pay i mean you're gonna pay 65 dollars for any craft whiskey that sure. you're that you're even thinking about trying Sure. When this is new to the Heaven Hill brand of far yeah. as mass production, it'd be worth a try. Um, I wouldn't pay secondary for it. No. Is it got a secondary? I think at one point in time it did. I just assumed it did. Yeah, and fine. then I wouldn't pay, like, if you don't like wheat whiskey or you're iffy on Heaven Hill, I would definitely try before you buy just yeah. to kind of be on the safe point. Yeah. But again, I'm very happy with yeah. it. All right. Well, tell, tell us if you've had it. Tell us what you think about it if you if you have had it because we, we love to hear yeah, for uh, sure. what other people have. Turn on them likes, turn on the notifications, do all the things that uh, require you to follow us and uh, tell us what you think. So uh, until next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.